Prayer and Verse In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, As we gather together on this blessed day, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and praise. We thank you for the gift of life, for the opportunity to see another day, and for the countless blessings you bestow upon us each and every moment. On this May 7th, we lift up our hopes, dreams, and concerns to you, knowing that you are a God who hears and answers prayers. We ask for your guidance and wisdom as we navigate the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Help us to walk in your light, to follow your path, and to always seek your will in all that we do. Lord, we pray for peace in our hearts, our communities, and our world. May your love and compassion shine forth, bridging divides and healing wounds. Grant us the strength to be instruments of your peace, spreading kindness, forgiveness, and understanding wherever we go. We also bring before you those who are suffering in mind, body, or spirit. Comfort them with your presence, surround them with your love, and grant them the courage to persevere through difficult times. May they feel your healing touch and know that they are never alone. Lord, we lift up our leaders, both in our nation and around the globe. Grant them wisdom, discernment, and humility as they make decisions that impact the lives of many. Help them to govern with justice and compassion, seeking the common good above all else. Finally, we thank you for the gift of community, for the fellowship and support of our brothers and sisters in faith. May we continue to encourage one another, to lift each other up, and to bear one another's burdens in love. We offer this prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Verse of the Day Deuteronomy 6 verses 11 to 12 When thou shalt have eaten and be full, then beware lest thou forget the Lord. Thoughts on today's verse The inhabitants were journeying to a land long held by a nation that had constructed cities, adorned luxurious homes, and cultivated vineyards. All these blessings were promised to them by the Lord, sparing them the need to construct their own dwellings or cultivate orchards. However, the peril lay in the possibility that upon receiving these gifts, they might forget their divine origin and stray into sinful paths. It's imperative not to lose sight of the ultimate giver while enjoying his provisions. Often, children who receive abundant blessings from their parents exhibit ingratitude, failing to recognize the toil and sacrifice behind these gifts. It is preferable for us to earn our possessions through our own labor, as this instills a deeper appreciation and gratitude towards God. Forgetting God, the source of all blessings, is the gravest offense, far worse than neglecting any other benefactor.